So this was unexpected, right? Yeah, Barcelona. Um, I'll have to talk you through how how we got here. Uh, it's quite quite an interesting way to get to this point. But before I talk to you all about that, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more Barcelona content um, for the next two ish years. Let's get into it. Um, yeah, basically, we weren't doing great at Sevilla, as it said here. Um, we were on the verge of being sacked. And then the Barcelona job came up and I was like, well, I'll apply for it. Why not? And they brought me in. That was pretty much it. I'll be able to talk you through kind of how Sevilla went, what's been going on with them. Um, but yeah, Barcelona, predicted to come second. They're currently in six, so they've had a bit of a bad run of form. Um, they've got a few decent players namely a certain Gabby that I'm looking forward to having back in the squad. Uh, that's for sure. Um, otherwise, we know what Barcelona are all about. Wanting that high press. Lots of foot, lots, lots of ball on ground football. So, yeah. But let's let's take a look at kind of where we're at in the season. Uh, I'll, before we do, I'll jump back to um, the S Sevilla and kind of how things were going. So, it wasn't great, I'll be honest. Um, scheduling wise, we, we were in a bit of a rut, um, since we, we had a bit of an up and down period following our initial game of the season. Uh, and then we were in a massive hole for ages. Weren't, we, we, we got knocked out of the Champions League. Um, and we did beat Alaves before we got the move to Barcelona. So that was a positive, but, I could tell we were we obviously weren't going to win the league. We weren't going to win the Champions League. We weren't even in the Europa League anymore. Unlikely that we're going to win any of the cups. So this opportunity came up and I took it with both hands. And it's quite interesting that we will be taking on Sevilla in the Super Cup semi-final. So we could get a final already in, in the save for Barcelona and possibly a trophy, which would be great. Um, that would maybe make up. But we've got about two and a half years with Barca. Because we've got to still finish this season, we've then got two years with the club. So that's quite nice, to be honest. Um, that And we've got January as well. So we could make a few changes. Uh, Transfers-wise, it's 73 million, but wage budget of 357,000. Um, we'll have to go through all the players and all that sort of thing. I'll have to take a little look. We'll then be able to go into a, the first game, see how it goes, all that stuff. Um, but there's a few contracts expiring, fringe players that we probably won't renew because money. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I'm, I'm not sure. The only thing is I'm not sure whether... We go for the classic Mourinho that we've been doing all this season, or all, all this save, or we go for the tiki-taka that I did in the beta, which seemed to work pretty well. Um, I'll have to take a look at the squad, see what we've got and, and who can kind of play where. Uh, but otherwise, I'm quite excited uh, with Barca. I think we've obviously got the... We've got a, we're through to the Champions Cup knockout round against Man United. We've got a Super Cup semi-final. We've got a Spanish Cup third round. And obviously, in the league, they're a little way off the top. But as long as we get into the top four this season, next year, we could be winning it. Um, that's for sure. Because it wasn't long ago that Barca did actually win it in the game. So, we're, we're just looking very positive. Um, but what I'll do then is I'll jump quickly ahead to where we can kind of see where we're at. Um with regards to kind of the squad, the next game, which will be uh, the Legans game at home. Uh, quite a nice one to start with, I think, really, um, considering where they are in the table, because they're down in 16th. So a good one to start with. But let's, um, I'll jump ahead to then, and then I'll see you in a sec. All right, so we're back, and we are on game day. Barcelona versus Legans. Um, we have made a couple of transfers already. Well, I say transfers. We've sold a few players. The likes of uh, Pjanic has left, um, and one of the uh, Barcelona B players, centre-halves. Not a problem. We're going with the 3-4-1-2, as you can see there. Uh, Gabriel Barbosa is obviously starting, because he's an absolute boy for us. Um, but... Otherwise, we have made a bid for a player. I don't want to mention it yet because it probably won't happen um, as I don't think we've got enough money. But it's I thought I'd throw it out there, see if we can 
kind of persuade the board to allow us to do it. Um, but we've got today's game, the Gant. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how we do. We're playing in the classic 3 4 one, two. We kind of just got to go with it, see how we do. I mean, a lovely ball in initially. Araujo's been fouled and it looks like it's going to be a penalty straight away. First two minutes, that would be a great start for us. Um, obviously, next game, we have got Sevilla. Uh, which is the semi-final of the cup. So we'll show you how that goes, I'm sure. But we'll see when we get to it, kind of if we'll be in the final or how that works. Hopefully we should be in the final with the boys we've got. Gabby steps up for the penalty, slots it past the keeper who just doesn't move. Uh, and there it is, 1-0. Lovely stuff. Gabriel Barbosa is quite poetic that he's scored the first goal for us uh, at Barcelona. But there you go, 1-0. A great start. Let's keep the keep the ball rolling a corner pozo with it no one's actually anywhere near that but it is headed clear with pedri receiving it um i'm hoping pedri can become really good in that attacking midfield role he's got a bit of freedom ball in memphis to pie just heads over the bar but it's looking good so so good at the moment obviously they are lower in the table so we expect to win but pozo's ball in langlet with the header there it is two nil ten minutes in Great stuff so far. Hopefully it continues. Um, yeah, wow. I, what can I say, really? It's great stuff. Great start to the game. Great start to a time at Barcelona. We've moved up to fourth place as well now, um, which is great. Let's just keep it going. And with that, it's a throw-in. We rhymed. Uh, Pozo, Pedri, back to Pozo, who's going to be very influential um, I can, I've can. i seen that there's a few players... Zinchenko off the post! Oh, the football was lovely. Um, yeah, I've seen that Barca do have a bunch of players who aren't registered for the league. Uh, I expect because of the money cost. So I'm going to have to do a bit of wrangling with that and work out kind of what we're going to do about it. I'm going to try and sell a couple of players. Obviously, we sold um, Pjanic. So that's a bunch of money back into the wage wages. But it's just working out what else we can do with it. Um, and moving players on. Memphis Depay, though, run all the way through after one pass. Pedri with the assist, but Depay did almost all of that on his own. 25 minutes in, 3-0, a lovely dink over the keeper. We're so confident. Um, yeah, I mean, we've had pre-season, so they've been able to... Well, I say pre-season, we've had the mid-season break. So they've been on holiday for a bunch of it, but they have come back and we've been able to train this tactic for a, a while. So they, they, they should be good with it. Um as we'd hope. I mean, Zinchenko on the left hand side. We have also changed um, our centre midfield partnership style. Uh, normally, we'd have a ball winning midfielder next to the deep line playmaker, but I thought because we're Barcelona, we're unlikely to have uh, a ball win uh, a ball winning midfielder necessarily, and we're a bit more on the ball. Nico is playing a, a more just central midfield defensive, nice and basic, uh, but should be able to do a very good job in there. Um, and hopefully, the player that we're looking to bring in can also sit in there and do that uh we'll definitely be looking at defenders going forward that will be what we'll um look to do but otherwise we're we're feeling pretty confident at the moment um they are working the ball quite nicely though uh slowly moving the ball forward we're keeping a bit of pressure on to try and force them back but they're they're doing very well on keeping the ball we, but cuts out by De Jong and Pedri's here now. Can he make something happen? Finds Nico, who's got a bit of space. Plays into Memphis, back to Pedri, who's then going to drive through. Can he finish? He does. There it is, 4-0 in 38 minutes. Oh, it's so good to see. Um, it's great to be at a club where we're getting goals and getting wins. But um, hopefully... I mean, this is a massive, massive thing for us. Us signing for Barcelona. I think it helps that we move to Sevilla in Spain and then Barcelona were like, oh, he has managed in Spain, so he can do it, kind of. So I'm hoping that was kind of the reason. We've obviously still got Italy and England still to manage in if we want to and can do. So there's plenty of room for us to still get some more trophies in different leagues. But I'm hoping that us managing Barca maybe getting quite far into the Champions League, winning the league, Liga, the Liga, um, la, 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 la Liga, we'll be able to hopefully get some some eyes on us from big clubs in like England uh, and Italy. So 
it'd be good to good to travel around the around Europe. But Pedri, oh again, look at this driving forward. He gets a bit lucky as it falls to Memphis Depay after the challenge. A long range effort, just wide of the target. But we are absolutely flying at the new camp, new I should say. And um, with only a couple of minutes to go now till half time, they do have a corner. Try and get back in it. It is headed clear by Araujo. Uh, and it looks like we will be breaking. Gabby Barbosa on the ball, running forward. He's got support with him. Uh, but it looks like he's going all on his own at the moment. Locks it back. Locks it back? Taps it back to Pozo, uh, who's going to take on his man and looks to get a ball into the box now. Ball comes flying in. Pedri's up with the header. It's just over the bar. But again, good counter-attack, good football. It's great stuff. I mean, the fact that we've had five shots on target and four of those have gone in is a great conversion rate when it comes to that. Um, so what can we do? We've got the likes of Timothy Castange, who could come on uh, along with Malin and Ricardo Horta, Ilias, Gavi. There's a bunch of players in there that can do a good job. So what I think we will do is swap Frankie over with Nico and we'll bring Gavi on in that deep line playmaker role. Just a little deeper um, so he can just keep hold of that. Gets him on the pitch, gets us having a little look at him, um, as the boys do very, very well. And Dicker playing the central role at centre-half, but yeah, like I say, centre-backs are certainly something we'll be looking at um, bringing in. I mean, if I can bring in Lucas Verissimo, I'm just saying I probably will, because he's a very, very solid player. And I mean, another goal. Zinchenko with the ball through, and Pedri taps it away for five, um, just as the half-time got kicked off. Great stuff. I love it. I love it. It's great. Um... But in fact, I think we should change the box around me because we are more blue than red, I guess. So there you go. Let's do do that. We are blue. Blue, da ba dee, da ba die. Barcelona blue. I guess that makes sense because the, the seats are blue and everything seems a bit more blue. So we'll go with blue. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, we're on fire. There's not much to say. Um, first game in charge and Pedri is on a 10 rating. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, Pozo with a corner now. What can he do with this? Whipped in. Big win. And Gabriel Barbosa with his second of the game. 11th of the season. He's already got that positive tally for goals to games under me. He loves it. He loves playing for me. He loves it. And I love him. He's a fantastic man. Good old Gabby. Um, <laughs> with Tox, Tox clicking down. Clock is ticking. I can't say words without like mixing them up. Um, so what we will do, I think, is we'll bring Danielle Marlin on for Memphis to pie, uh, just to give him a bit of a run out. Uh, otherwise, let's bring Timothy Castange on for Pozo, who's done very, very well this game. Um, Ilya Sakamach, we will look to play as well in future games, but we'll we'll ease him in. We'll we won't want to. Throw him into the deep end with this team. Um, he will be playing striker in this formation anyway, as obviously we haven't got any wingers necessarily. The fullbacks need to be a bit more. De um, the wing, the mid wide midfielders, wingers need to be a bit more defensive. So uh, he's probably not best suited out there. But playing as an advanced forward means he can drift out wide and, and do what he does. So he's got a bit of freedom up there. Um, and Dicker though into De Jong, then he's got loads of space and time to find someone. Marlon. Uh, across to Gabby, who then turns and finds Castange, who plays it through to Marlon. It's a good save by the keeper. I mean, it probably should have been another goal. We should be 7-0 up. But uh, a good good little move. It's good to see. And another corner for us before the end of the game. With a minute to go, Gabby to take this. It whipped in, and it's headed away by Bol Bolingoli. Um, but it's out to Gavi again, who lays it off to Lenglet, who's probably going to have a shot. There we go. Uh, and Saidana again matches that one and palms it away. I mean, we've absolutely been so dominant this game. It's fantastic. I know again, I know that they're low in the table, but it's a great sign. Uh balls over the top, Gabby's not gonna reach it, goes out for a goal kick, and that will probably be it. That will be the game done for today. A six nil win in our first game in charge. Gabriel Barbosa getting two and Pedri getting two, along with Depay as well. Assist from Zinchenko, uh, Pedri, Depay and Pozo. It's just what you want. It's just what you want to see. So we're, I think it's, we're, it's the, it was the right decision, to be quite honest. Uh, at the moment, it was very much the right decision. How does Sevilla get on? They did beat uh, Getafe 5-2. Vill 
Blahovic getting a hat trick there. So um, that's not bad for him. He might be a player we might eye up. But we've got a lot of strikers at Barca. We'll have to see how things go. But um, there you go. I'll let you know how things go. We might be back very shortly uh, if we do okay in the Super Cup semi-final. If not, we'll see you a little later on. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. And I will catch you in the next one.